time for our last opponent. We lost the die roll. Hmm. But I think on the draw we can actually keep this hand because we have a pretty good green base hand. So we're going to keep and see how this goes. Alright. There's even our white mana already, so... Got everything we need. Perfect. And yeah, the deck runs slightly more white than green, which definitely helps. And our opponent... Mulliganed pretty heavily. So this should be a quick and easy game one. Flip here. Play this guy. Then play land. Get a clue. Play this guy and win easily next turn. Well, we're basically playing against ourselves, so not very impressive to win this game. Although, we don't know what we are up against. This could be blue-red or blue-black control spell deck. This could be a poor blue-white flash draw. I think I'll just not mulligan at all until we know what we are up against. So, let's see. Let's find out. Alright, this time we have to mulligan. Uh, how much better is a mulligan to 5 gonna be? But this is like pretty awkward. I think it's probably better than a mulligan to 5. But I'm far from excited about this hand. At least we found a 2-drop, even though not the greatest one. Yeah, it looks like it was a failed blue-white flash draw. Yep. So I guess good that we didn't sideboard, because we're not going to sideboard that much against that deck. And bringing in the Conduit and the Gideon, assuming it is a control deck, might be pretty devastating in this matchup. Oh, the opponent kept a questionable hand again, as it seems. I hmm. think i rather have the bigger lieutenant than the bigger inspector. So I like that sequence a bit better, because the lieutenant can actually grow out of smuggler's copter range, and in a range where it beats stuff like a spellcrawler. What is our opponent keeping? Like, I don't even... He's either making some pretty poor decisions or just being really unlucky. <laughs> Depending on what his opening hand was. Yeah, that's probably a little too late. Guess we just ship. <laughs> it's kind of funny how these multiple smuggler sculptures are awkwardly good against <laughs> removal <laughs> because you basically have to let them get their trigger and then at best like snare and combat. So the question here is do I want to let that trade slide? Or do I exile that guy and play the same game again next turn? I think actually I trade 
and exile the reflector mage probably. Because beating three copters with removal is not very promising. Maybe we can stop the copter from happening. Opponent's taking his time. Well, at least the game maybe gets like half interesting. Wait with the stasis snare to see what the opponent does. Although that kind of bears the risk of him having spell queller, but since we have a second one, we can just play the snare. He spells quellers it. We snare the spell queller on our turn and then snare the other guy. So it's not too big of a deal. Let's see if he feels like attacking. No, he does not. But I feel like getting rid of his Salia because that card is kind of annoying. Okay, so gonna play a land and then tag with both. So we probably get two damage in and eat a copter. And he's so far behind that can't recover from it. Heron's Grace having flash is pretty neat. And if he decides to eat this guy. Hmm. We can like put him to one, which is probably our best course of action. It's solid play at least that he blocks the inspector here, so not too poorly played on his part. But still, he's still on one against two attackers with like one blocker at the moment and we have a removal. Even if he has like an Abyssin. That is quite good. So... Best plan is probably... to just exile this, because it kind of stops that guy. You will man a copter, as expected. Then we can play this. He has no spell queller, as we can see already. Then we basically make him trade and jump. Oh, I have stasis snare. That's pretty good. Game actually got pretty interesting in the end. We might actually be able to pull this one off. That's how good blue white flash is. And I guess how good copter is. That is definitely pretty big help. And depending on if he has an, whether or not he has another flyer, might actually win us the game together with our stasis snare. He might have a removal though, yep. Now we might actually just lose that game. That is very unfortunate. Yeah. 
Let's see if we can draw a uh, declaration in stone, because that was kind of greedy, I think. Yep, punished. There's like no need to be this aggressive when you are like stabilized like that and give the opponent outs like double removal to win the game. He sent me a message. So he's probably upset at me, even though he is the one that screwed up. Yeah, pretty nice uh, turnaround here. Almost lost that game because Blue White Flash that powerful, but then our opponent decided to give us a window to win. And we top decked the card that we needed to pull it off. All right, that's the last match of the series. Um, I really enjoyed the deck. I think it's a pretty nice alternative to the top decks and I will keep playing it a bit and I figured it's definitely worth showing off to you guys if you don't know it yet given that Craig missed the top 8 if you don't follow him and his articles you might not know the deck yet and he also didn't record a video with his latest version so um, I figured I'll do that because I really like the deck and he also proven in the tournament that it's very competitive. So thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!